We're gonna talk about cinnamon today. What is cinnamon? First of all, it's a bark, okay? It's used throughout Southeast Asia. It's medicinal use of cinnamon dates back to nearly 4,000 years in both India and Chinese cultures. And it's really the bark, tree, and root. Some people use a cinnamon oil, which also has medicinal benefits. It has minerals, it has vitamins, it has flavonoids and essential oils. They're really four major minerals. One ounce of cinnamon, look at how much calcium it has, 281 milligrams. Manganese, potassium, and phosphorus, four major vitamins. Vitamin A, as I've talked about, really supports making sure viruses don't get into your cells. Vitamin C, as we know, supports immunomodulation. Vitamin E, and vitamin K. That's in one ounce of cinnamon. Seven flavonoids, gosipin, naphthalene, hesperidin, hibifolin, hypolatin, oroxidin, and quercetin, which we've talked about before. Now, these act as antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. And there's 41 essential oils found in cinnamon. And the major essential oil compounds with medicinal effects were cinnamon aldehyde, cinnamic acid, cinnamyl acetate, and eugenol. But cinnamon has some very amazing positive effects in helping weight loss, diabetes, lowering blood sugar levels, lowering cholesterol levels, lowering the onset of any type of chronic illness. It reduces inflammation, treats menstrual cramps, aids digestion, antibacterial and antifungal effects. So we're going to focus on the boost immune system and the antifungal and antibacterial effects. Look, if you hit your finger with a hammer, you're supposed to get inflammation. So all those white blood cells rush in and take care of your body. The issue is if your immune system overreacts, it starts attacking your own body. Cinnamon inhibits inflammatory enzymes, the COX-2 and the INOS, thereby controlling your runaway immune system, modulating that cytokine storm. Cinnamon also inhibits those inflammatory cytokines. Cinnamon directly kills bacteria and fungi. It's very, very important. So the cinnamon oil breaks the wall it's like a battering ram, it breaks up the wall, the membrane damage and the release of intracellular contents. But it also inhibits what's called the Z-ring formation, which stops cell division. The microbes, be it the fungi or the bacteria, have shown not to be able to deliver resistance to cinnamon. That's a good thing, which means they don't mutate. It's such a powerful chemical that it helps you in many, many multiplicity of ways.